Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us here. Well, we are back on the Mercury 40 horsepower, two-stroke C-Pro. Um, I just took the carburetor off of it, straight forward, two bolts and a bracket. I think there was an air silencer there. And uh, I'll have to come up with something because I don't have an air silencer. I haven't been uh, on the internet and went and looked at the schematic yet, but I'm sure I can come up with an air silencer for this. Looks pretty straightforward and simple. Two big long bolts, half inch, come out of there. And that will have the carburetor. The carburetor de Ripa to come off. Oh, I also took this plugged up primer off. The primer bulb. And uh, <clears throat> then I think we're going to have to take a look at that propeller. Prop. I mean, right? I'm hoping it's just the prop, not the lower. Fing fingers crossed. So, let's take a look. We might as well just get right into it. Oops. Let me get you situated here. Is the raper in question quite simple affair I already took the float bowl screws out and let's see what we get what we get what we get what we get yeah. so far I don't see a bunch of white powdery in there staring back at me 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 let me get my poker thing in See about this hinge pin now. Something tells me this is one of them ones. Yep. Where you have to take a little tappet hammer. You know, you know, something about like that. Because they have like, um, what do you call them? Little grooves. Splines. Tap, 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 tap. Very gentle. See, it's coming. It's coming. Coming out. Oh, I can see them. Them little groovies. It's groovy, man. Fucking, it's kind of rounded on this end, so it's gonna be hard. Look at that first shot. See them little grooves? Can you see them little groovies? Little, you know, you know. Get my punch out of there. Scribe punch. Well, yeah, it's got a little e-clip on it. I can see that. And there's my needle. Looking pretty good. Nice and clean. And there's my motion board. This, this is a, it's not too bad. It's a uh, about as close to an OMC carburetor as I've ever seen a Merck carb. It's even got an unboltable transition chamber up top. So let's look in there too. This is a 96. Looking pretty good in the old trans chamber. So all I'm going to do with this guy is squirt it with some regular old spray can carb cleaner. And then uh, I'll throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner just to kind of rinse it off. Then I'll blow everything out with compressed air. I'll take this upper trans chamber and I'll we 
wiki wiki with my little wires, my guitar strings. I use guitar strings. They work good. Um, yeah, that's about all that's going to need. Now this guy, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe just a little compressed air because I don't want to stick wires up in there because I know there's some kind of rubber flapper diaphragmer thing in there. So I'm going to try compressed air first, I think. So let me get some stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so I took me a little Vaseline and put on here. I didn't even put this in the ultrasonic cleaner. I just took it and blew it with compressed air. And then I took my little wires, my guitar stringies, and I put them in there and I can see them. I don't know if you can see it, but squeaky, squeaky, squeak, 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 in there. Then I went to the transition chamber, got these real small wires, put in these little bitty holes. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And then I blew that out with compressed air. Little can carver raper cleaner. And I'm ready, and this I just, I squirt. Took the uh, triflow and put the little squirt plastic thing in there and psh, psh, gave it each a squirt and then I blew it with some compressed air. So hopefully that's going to work. So then anywhere I have a gasket just to freshen it up, I take a little petroleum jelly on a speaking of Spanish. All right, so we put that back on. And then I will take my screwdriver, you know, you know, you know. I'll snug everything up with a regular screwdriver. I moistened up my emulsion tube seal here. That still felt pretty good. And uh, so get the needle and seat back in. Well, it would help if I had a needle. I dropped it. I did something with it. Come on, you can do it. Oh well. I'll get it on there. One way or to another. There it is. Good. There it is. There's that. And then we have to put this little pin back. The little float hinge pin. There we go. And give it a few. Remember with the little tap, little gentle tap, 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 tap. There's my float. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so everything looks like it's working good. Now, I will take a little bit of the tri-flow. Get any little Vaseline there. Okay, then we get my screws. And it can't hurt to give them screws a little. Try flow too. Now you notice how I'm doing this. Going in just at an angle a little bit with my drill so it stutters and skips. Because this is aluminum on aluminum. And now I'll snug everything back up with a regular manual screwdriver. And we'll be ready to throw this thing back on. Right again.
get nothing when I put it in here. But I'm going to take this one. getting no uh, water discharge from the telltale. Getting no water discharge. Um, and if it's going in gear, I didn't see nothing really. So let's take a look. First, I want to look at the uh, water discharge and see if it is hooked up. It is hooked up. Yep. And nothing, I pulled off the water discharge tube coming from the exhaust port cover and all that's coming out of there is a little steam. So, that's that. Now, I'm just wondering, will this thing tilt? Sorry about that, sorry about that. I really don't know how to work it, but... I guess we can try it. Oh, looky there. Looky there. One of the old, simple kind. Yeah, I like that. So. Oh, yeah, I unhooked that. So let me. There should be forward. Yeah, something ain't right with that lower. Looking at the prop, that don't surprise me. So, we gotta get the keeper and pull that whole thing off and see what we're getting going on, going on, getting and getting and going on. What I'm doing here is it's got one of these nut keepers for the prop nut. <laughs> Have to. I have to do that. And what size are we looking at there? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. So let me find a bigger one. One. 
There it is. It's that one. Look at it. This whole thing don't feel right. It just, it just don't feel right. Okay. There's my washer and keeper thingy. It's got pins on it. And then this sits in there. And then once you put the nut on there, you fold those two tabs up to keep it in place. Go us, us. No, 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 no. There's the other washer. I don't know if it's linkage. I do not know what it is. But, I think the first thing I'm going to do is get this lower unit off of there. looks about and it is about a 5 8 so looking about looking about 5 8 we will see if we can get some of them loose hey 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 don't do that to me that's tightening. We don't want to tighten it. Ooh, they're tight. Wow. Wow. Well then. It's going to be a pickle. Ba-boom. Ba-ba-ba-boom. Alright, so I've got two 5.8s here, i got two on the other side, and I imagine i got a nut coming down through there. If it's different than that, I'll let you know. I'll be right back. Okay, for getting out that uh, shift link pin, what I did was I, uh, there's a cotter pin in there. And I took these long vice grips here. You could use a, a long set of needle nose. And I put a wire through there. After I kind of straightened out the ends of the cotter pin there, I put 
a wire through there and then I reached in with these long vice grips and grabbed the end of that wire. And then you jerk real hard and there comes your cotter pin. See your cotter pin right there? Now I can get that pin out. That's how I did, did it. And then I should be able to push it over back that way a little bit. Might have to shift it a little bit. Get my long set of See, I gotta shift it down so I can clear that. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it's magnetic. Probably not, but I'm gonna see. Take me my magnet. See if that'll get that out of there. Nope. So, I have a extra long set of needle nose. You think I'm kidding? I made these a long time ago. Them long. Yeah, reach in there and grab that guy. And there it is. That's how I get that shift link out of there. With my extra, extra. You can see I took off the carburetor again. And then I got my extra long set of needle nose. Now, as far as the, uh, so now the shift thing's undone. I'm gonna just lay my car with its two bolts. All the hoses are still hooked up. And for the lower, um, there was for the lower there was a you take off a half inch bolt that holds the water intake screen and cav uh, counter rotating you know I heck I don't even know what you call these things but anyway it's it's just a round plate that has a fin so you can adjust the counter rotation of the prop and then the, up in here you could reach up in there with a deep well 5 8 inch and there's a nut and a washer look at that white powder then there was uh, the four 5 8 inch bolts and washers then there was the pin for the shift link now let's see and then there's a lower unit Wow, look at that. Stand by for part two on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.